Many automotive designers may not find much enthusiasm in the prospect of working on a new three-row SUV. The constraints of a two-box shape and the intense competition in the segment often encourage a conservative approach. However, Kia defied these expectations a few years ago with the Telluride, and now they are once again challenging norms with the electric EV9. Whether observed from a distance of 100 yards or examined up close, the EV9 leaves a lasting impression. It is evident that the individuals behind this vehicle, encompassing both designers and engineers, embrace the challenge of creating a battery-powered iteration of the increasingly popular family crossovers. Utilizing Hyundai Motor Group's electric global modular platform, eGMP, the EV9 boasts proportions that significantly differ from the Telluride, despite sharing a somewhat boxy aesthetic. With a wheelbase measuring 122.0 inches, nearly 8 inches longer than the Telluride, and the wheels pushed to the corners, the EV9 exudes a more striking presence. The headlights, blending dot-style LEDs with swooshes of LED accent lights, possess a nearly cyborgian quality, while the vertically-oriented, intricately detailed taillights resemble something one might find on a science fiction spacecraft. The meticulous attention to detail extends to the interior. Despite not positioning itself as a luxury utility vehicle, the EV9's material selection in our fully loaded GT-Line test car speaks otherwise. The faux leather is plush, the dashboard incorporates various attractive finishes, and there are innovative touches, such as trampling-style mesh front seat headrests that defy expectations. The abundance of screens, including a 12.3-inch infotainment screen and digital instrument cluster, is complemented by well-designed physical buttons and knobs for a user-friendly interface. The only notable user experience inconvenience is the placement of the climate control screen, partially obscured by the steering wheel. Given its family-oriented focus, the areas behind the driver and passenger are of paramount importance, and the EV9 delivers. The second-row captain's chairs, featuring heating and ventilation, can also be equipped with power adjustability and extendable footrests. The rear doors are generously wide for easy entry, and Kia has considered details like the roof-mounted air vents, surrounded by attractive bezels. While the third row may not rival the spaciousness of some of the largest gasoline-powered three-row models, the appropriately positioned and angled bottom cushion ensures comfort for adults during shorter journeys, making it a viable seating option. The EV9's impressive design and packaging skills come as no surprise, given the success of the Telluride. Its robust performance is equally expected, especially considering the shared eGMP platform with the acclaimed Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, both of which are 10 best winners. Offering a diverse range of powertrain configurations from a basic single motor, rear-wheel drive setup with a 76.1 kWh battery pack to the top-tier dual motor, all-wheel drive model we tested. Boasting 379 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque from a 99.8 kWh battery pack, a capacity surpassing other eGMP vehicles. Despite the substantial 1,249-pound lithium-ion pack and an overall weight of 5,839 pounds, 1,349 more than the Telluride, the EV9's electric motors outshine the Telluride's 291-horsepower 3.8-liter V6 in power and torque. Acceleration proves this point, with the dual-motor EV9 reaching 60 miles per hour in a swift 4.5 seconds and covering the quarter-mile in 13.3 seconds at 101 miles per hour. These performance metrics make the Telluride, which takes more than two seconds longer to reach 60 miles per hour, seem notably sluggish in comparison. Despite the added weight, Kia has effectively maintained the EV9's dynamic prowess. Equipped with wide 285mm Hankook Ion Evo AS SUV all-season tires, compared to the Telluride's 245s and larger brake rotors, the EV9 achieved an impressive 0.87G on the skid pad and stopped from 70 miles per hour in 184 feet. These figures would have stood out in recent comparisons with gasoline three-row SUVs. Steering the EV9 is a satisfying experience, featuring well-weighted responsiveness and controlled body motions. While some head toss is noticeable on rough roads, the overall ride quality remains commendable, with linear responses to changes in direction, even if not particularly eager. 
Traveling at a speed of 70 miles per hour, the EV9 records a subdued 67 decibels, presenting itself as a comfortable highway cruiser. However, when it comes to objective metrics, the cruising range is the sole parameter where the EV9 falls short of surpassing the Telluride. In our 75 miles per hour highway range examination, the EV9 achieved a respectable 240 mile result, slightly below the EPA's projected estimate of 270 miles. In practical terms, if the EV9 is loaded with passengers and belongings, accommodating five carry-on bags behind the third row and 17 with the third row folded, for instance, the actual road trip range will be less necessitating recharging stops every few hours. Fortunately, the EV9's electrical infrastructure is designed to rapidly replenish the battery. Utilizing a 350 kilowatts DC fast charger, we observed the display indicating a gain of 100 miles of range in just 13 minutes. The measured average charging speed between a 10 and 90% state of charge was an impressive 139 kilowatts ranking among the highest averages seen in any EV we've tested. For those seeking extended range, a single motor configuration with a substantial battery offers a 304-mile EPA range. However, the drawback is its modest 201 horsepower, likely resulting in slower acceleration times. As one of the pioneer three-row electric SUVs entering the mainstream market, the EV9's pricing will play a pivotal role in persuading families to transition to electric power. The EV9 starts at $56,395 for the rear drive, small battery model, placing it in the vicinity of the Telluride's top-tier pricing. Notably, the more potent and well-equipped GT-Line variant starts at a higher point, at $75,395. While this may seem steep, especially considering the availability of compelling gas-powered alternatives at a lower cost, the EV9 boasts an appealing interior and exterior design and offers a significant performance advantage, making it a worthwhile investment for those who choose to make the switch. Those who take the plunge are unlikely to be disappointed. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.